Hey guys, uh, Christy here today at JR Motors here in Lake Havasu City, Arizona. Again, you can find us out here by Walmart or Home Depot area. Um, I wanted to give you a quick little walkthrough today on a new arrival on the lot, which is super cool. Um, this is actually going to be a 3.0SS or 3.1SS, I believe, um, by Jayco. It's a Red Hawk and it's a 2006. So um, we'll go ahead and take a little walk through. It does have under 23,000 miles or right around it. Um, and it's also going to have um, two slides, which is pretty cool. So let's go check it out. Um, this little guy, it is a little bit oxidized from the sun. It's a little bit milky kind of. See if you can kind of look at this. Some of the kind of gel coat on the outside is a little bit peeling here. But the stickers um, have a little bit of that eggshell cracking them, not too much, but pretty good overall otherwise than that. We've got nice tires here. Not sure the year on them. I'm looking to see. I don't see any DOTs, but they look pretty decent on the tires. Oh, 18. 15th week of 2018. So pretty decent tires. Lots of storage underneath here, which we'll walk through if needed. Um, walking around the unit. It is just a C class, so it's a, on an E450 chassis, Super Duty Ford. Um, but as you can see, the decal up top is a little bit faded, nothing too much though. So. Does have slide toppers, but it's got the slide over here. And as we walk around, yeah, and you can see the, the egg cell cracking a little bit there, but you know, it's not too bad. But the inside has actually been taken care of pretty good, I feel like. So uh, we'll go ahead and walk in there. It's always like to show people what's going on here. If you want me to open up these compartments, I can gladly send you another one, no big deal. So I'm just gonna kind of switch this over. It does have automatic steps. So when you come in, it's got the vinyl floor here or the linoleum. You got this is such a cool layout. So I'm in here. You can see it's got a big slide here. You got the dinette area and the couch. So the slide makes a huge difference. Lots of light in here. Not one light is on right now, you guys. I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, and the front seven, eight, nine, nine windows alone. Kitchen is the tenth window, so lots of natural light in here. You're gonna see it's got this bed right here. You've got um, looks like surround sound up here. TV. This is the spot where you can put another TV if you wanted. The dinette booth is gonna fold out into a bed, obviously. It's got day and night shades, so. As you can see, it's got day and it's got night. So that's pretty cool. Uh, as we walk around, it's got one AC in here, lots of storage. You've got a microwave, a two piece sink here, nice window to look out, spot for all your spices, things like that. You've got um, more spots up here for storage, big, nice, deep cabinet there. This one does have an oven and a stove, which is nice. So three burner stove. And then let's look down here. Yep, lots of storage down here. Got a plug in right here. So if you have like a mixer or something like that you wanna do. This would be a good spot for a garbage can if you need to put one in here while you're, you know, have the slide out. Over here, you're gonna have your fridge. So nice big fridge here and freezer. Then you got a nice hallway closet here or pantry, whatever you want to do. The slide out drawers, this is nice. Gliders, they're a little bit, you know, stained, but it's okay. They're in your cupboard. No one's going to see. And then down here, maybe spot for your garbage can or whatever you want to do. And as we come back through the coach here, you're going to see we've got a shower right here. It's got these little doors on it, which is kind of cool. So that's nice. And it's got a skylight above it. It does have a rack in here for clothes, so a lot of people use that like when they're not you know, doing it. But here's the bed. So there's about a foot and a half on this side of the bed. And then you walk around and this is with the slide out and you've got a desk area with a wardrobe, window, and then look at this, it's a nice closet. Big closet to hang. And then you've got another about foot on the side of the bed. So it's not massive, but it, you know, it's good enough to walk around. So. Um, the carpet does have a plastic film on the back back here. Let's see if I can get up close to the carpet. It looks nice. It's not Berber, but it almost looks like a wannabe Berber kind of. But 
Anywho, this is a beautiful unit. Just wanted to show you guys this. Looks like it does have a backup system here. Camera built in. And then it's got um, Sirius radio. Um, it's got um, CD player, which I love that. So when you're hitting those dirt roads, you've got ability to hear music in case your satellite's not working or you're don't, not hooked up to Sirius. Got some reader lights here. And then it's got, um, this one's a Ford on this guy. So if you want to know for more information in regards to how much it could pull, does have airbags, has uh, cruise control, so that's good. So wanted to show you guys this right here. Um, now this does flip back, so when you're driving, you don't have to have that there, which is nice. So, and again, it's got right around 23,000 miles. But all right, you guys, well, hopefully this unit pumps you up. It's a cool, rare find, and I'll talk to you later. All right, bye, guys.